hello everyone so today we are going to work on the replication of npc death not just npcs actually uh, death of all the characters so here if i so see what happens if i kill the character now you see if i check it from the server the character is in uh, character has dropped the weapons and also it's in ragdoll mode but uh, if i show that if i check that in the servers level as you can see those things are not properly replicated see i my character glitches out that's because it identifies the npc character is still there uh, so how can we solve this that's what we are going to work on today and also you can see here the we can see the character is still in the animation in the same location as the server but we don't see the simulation and we can't even find where the weapons are also so this is the problem we are going to address today this works perfectly in single player mode all the trophy weapons and everything but not in multiplayer and before we get started a quick reminder that this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes in the tutorial series in my channel i'll leave the link in description below and also you can download the project files of all the projects that i have done from the patron page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit there are closer to 2000 videos to the date for each video project file is accessible all right so let's get back to today's work so yesterday we implemented this ga depth gameplay ability and what we did is we got the character and we disable movement and enable ragdoll mode by simulating physics on the mesh and disable collisions for the capsule and destroy AI controller just like this cut the controller and then set lifespan and unpossess it from the character and then drop the weapons so that's what we have done but this is done inside this gameplay ability so in order to properly replicate this uh, I'm gonna have to move some of the stuff in back to the character actually this part back to the character so that there we can properly replicate it and keep only this tag part or uh, effect part gameplay effect part inside the ability okay so first let me open my character blueprint and here under class settings i have bpi character so here let me add a new function Q character and i think it would be better if i have a category character for these functions okay now here you can see under interfaces under character kill character function let me double click so this will be available to us so since there will be some more code here let me first collapse this kill character so we can keep the code clean okay, character and a comment okay now inside this I just want to have the same thing that I have done here but we don't really need to do this part so let me just cut this from here and delete this part and go back and paste so you know what i already have already done disable movements 
so we can directly give character movement and then disable inputs I have given the character so self here we can directly set mesh and capsule component I can set it like this and for the destroy AI controller well I can call get AI controller Uh, wait, no. Self you can give a reference to self here. Get AI controller and do the same thing and go back. So, here get weapons now instead of character. I can give a reference to self like this. So, one thing is, I don't think this weapon L and weapon R are replicated yeah so therefore weapons will not be dropped when the character is killed so I'll set these to replicated right and that's uh, that's not it so and let's call this function from here get avatar after and kill character so still we haven't done the replication part but let's just test so this will work for the server but this will not work for the client we can test it okay it's working for the client but for the server it should not work see it's in the animation and it glitches by quip sword okay so now to the replication part here let's add a new variable dead and by default this is false so here I'll set dead to true and the character is killed and I'll set replication to rep notify double click and here if it's our branch if dead is true then what we need to do is the same thing that I have done when the character is killed so to reuse the same code I'll convert this to a macro kill I rename it Kill, I'll add M because this is a macro we don't really need an output node here so it's fine now here I'll call the same kill M now the death should be replicated properly let's test it uh, wait in the Multiplayer setup. Let's kill the character with the NPC. See, it went to the ragdoll mode, and ragdoll mode is visible from the client. Let's check it from the other client. Here you see ragdoll mode is visible and the weapons are dropped properly and it's visible from the server as well so yeah so one thing you should notice is here you can see now that I have enabled physics simulation that is not identical 
on all the servers on all the instances of the game so if you don't need that i wouldn't recommend you to go with physics simulations it would be better if you just use a dead animation and you just make the weapons drop on the floor and maybe not allow reacting to the characters should be better would be better but in my case once the character is dead and once the weapons are dropped i don't really it doesn't really matter for me whether the weapons are in the exact same position for both for all the players in the game as i haven't implemented any pickup mechanism or anything but if i have to do that in future i might disable the physics simulations so that is something you should notice and with that we can stop this episode right here and thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe as always i will put the updated project files in the patreon page and link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye